Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I have a rather interesting video for you. This is more fake makeup from China. Some old Chinese dupes, child. So last month I had a little extra time and a little extra clint on my hands. So I decided to order something that looked pretty interesting and I wanted this during the rollout but I didn't quite buy it because I'm just so over buying makeup to where I just I just don't want to spend a whole bunch of money anymore on makeup because I feel like I have enough I have more than enough stuff right now so like only thing I will be buying moving forward is like my foundations and pressed powders that type of thing but eyeshadow palettes and lipstick collections I'm kind of over it I'm really truly over it and I'm just not really here for just buying a whole bunch of stuff just because you guys are making it look all good right here on YouTube so yeah like I said that's just not where I'm at but I've just been curious ever since the fake Jaclyn Hill palette that I have and I'm in love with that palette I ordered that some time ago and I think I ordered that one from eBay actually and I love that palette that is one of the best dupe products I've ever bought that palette is amazing so if you haven't seen that video I'll have that link below so you can check that out a lot of you had um, some rather supportive comments and you guys said that you bought it too and you love it so yeah like I said I'm not here to advocate fake products I'm just showing you how good and how bad they could actually be as far as the quality of them but that Jaclyn Hill palette was amazing now I bought well let me put the top back on it because I'm just so ready to get into this video and show you what I have I'm just anxious because this like I said was um, a collection by Colourpop that launched some time ago it was like months ago and it was their collaboration with Karuchi Tran and I'm a big Karuchi Tran fan because I love watching Claws and she is hilariously funny to me in that show so yeah let me put the top back on so this is what the packaging looks like if you were to have bought the full collection from Colourpop this is it really cute really pink it's pink box big box you see it you see it with a gold foil writing on it, it says Femme Rosa Carucci and Colourpop looks legit looks really really good the box is really nice it's very sturdy it operates perfectly you can just easily lift the top off and then inside you get the products it came with I um eyeshadow palette you get three liquid lipsticks and this was it says it's supposed to be a face palette the face palette was um, like a highlighter palette this says paste palette okay but it's a fake we know that but still um yeah paste it should have said face but that's just like a dead giveaway dead giveaway that this is a fake but once I tell you the price, you're like, oh, whatever. You know, it's a whatever type of situation. But, yeah, so let's just get right into the product. So the first things we're going to talk about are the liquid lipsticks. Now, I will say this. The liquid lipsticks are the best part of this little set. I love, oh, wait. One of them's missing, and that's because that's the one I have really, really, really been enjoying. It's a liquid metallic lipstick. I, and you know what? Honestly, I don't know where that could be because, like I said, I've been enjoying the liquid lipsticks. They have been bomb. I really hate that I've misplaced that one. I'm sure it's in one of my purses, but take my word for it, it is bomb. Very, very bomb. So it was like a metallic -y, um... I want to say rose gold slash brown bronze or like a rose gold and bronzy metallic lipstick and then you get a nude and then you get like a, a deep wine liquid lipstick and these are amazing really really good the quality is real real good really really good 
comparable to ColourPop's, the payoff is amazing. That was just like one swipe. And then the markings on the packaging are just like legit. So those are the swatches of the lippies. Now these are these two are really, really pretty. I love these two. I've worn both of these a couple of times. I really do like those. And I, I damn it, I wish I knew where that metallic one was. Because I like to put it on top of other um, matte liquid lipsticks to give it some more oomph. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is these were really, really good. These are really good. I love those. So it says mixed finish lip collection you get um ultra chossy lip ultra satin lip ultra satin lip but these are not satin and, and i think chossy should have been glossy but yeah the matte the two are truly matte and the metallic one that I was telling you about, it does have like a glossier finish to it. It's not chossy. But this legit says chossy. So with fakes, I mean, there's always going to be some type of misspelling or something's going to be off. So you have to pay attention to the packaging. Especially when you're buying from like eBay sellers or these random marketplaces. Because they could easily be passing off some of these. Chinese knockoffs and not all knockoffs are made equally and this is one of those that it's just okay but the packaging kind of sucks because we got so many misspell misspellings on these so this is the paste palette that should be the face palette and then you have Lassie Mistress and Dame so it gives you the color names on the back as the original does so let's go ahead and look at this now like I said I I just really wasn't impressed with these dupes and then the middle shade came all smashed and broken but I I didn't really have high expectations for this because I'm gonna tell you why once we get towards the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna tell you about the price so yeah it did come broken but this one swatch is really really good though it's really pretty now i haven't used these at all this has just been thrown to the side and the packaging since i got it i don't know why my lighting is like extra today and i haven't changed anything so i got to see what's going on but yeah that's the highlighter it's really pretty i you can't really see it but it's really really pretty and it just it feels like butter, it really does. Only thing is that it just doesn't read properly on the packaging and it's broken up and uh, I'm just not interested in using things that comes to me broken. I'm a bit spoiled. Okay, and this is the eyeshadow palette. And the packaging does have all of the color names on the back. And as I look at it, you know, it's a little off-centered here. But, like, it's not really a deal breaker if you're buying these for the shadows. If you can find a good seller that has, you know, like... Alright, so if I hold it that way, you can kind of see the colors. Now, to me, the colors kind of swatch in a way that they all look the same i don't know if you've bought like a cheaper eyeshadow palette from like the dollar store or walmart and you know how you could like swatch some of the the shimmer shades and all the shimmery shades just tend to look the same they all look like they have like a gray or a silver undertone to them and that's how these look to me. They all look the same, so I'm not really impressed with this dupe. And I'm not so mad at it because this was like, for all of this, it was like $12. So, yeah. 
not so bad especially if you're just buying things just for looks you know and I know some people that have admitted to that they like to buy this stuff just to put it on their vanity for just kicks and giggles just because the packaging is pretty now I am wearing this gold shimmery shade here on my lid today it is really pretty so I do like it like I said it does have some pretty colors in it but for the most part everything swatches the same and this is just this matte these this row here are all mattes now they just go all over the place when you swatch them just like so talky so you'll get a lot of fallout it's pigmented but you will get a lot of fallout with these because there's so much like talc in these it's so powdery I don't like that but yeah not bad though for $12 I mean the packaging's cute or whatever but yeah it's just not my thing the colors are a little too drab but like I said I did like the collection I love the liquid lipsticks that came in this but yeah like I said not all dupes are made the same or created equal like you can buy some that are just like super super good and the pigmentation is just like bomb but this one didn't quite hit the mark for me but yeah I just wanted to share that with you just in case you were interested in buying like these type of um, collection sets from uh, Chinese sellers or Asian sellers wherever they're coming from because some of them are coming from Korea as well so I did see some Korea Korean sellers as well but yeah um, not totally bad but just not the best if you know what I mean but yeah this is just one of those things that's just going to be thrown in the bottom drawer of my makeup collection. Because these are things that I don't normally like use on myself and I never use these on clients. So yeah, it's just for play purposes. Probably pull this back out during Halloween to do some cool things with it for Halloween. That this type of stuff is good for that so you don't have to waste your good makeup doing like frivolous makeup looks that's only going to be used for a couple of hours if that makes sense or for practice you know what I'm saying but yeah that's it for me just wanted to share this buy with you this was one of those things that I ordered from I believe I did order this from AliExpress it got to me in just about a month's time so this was a snail mail order and it was just about $12 so I'm not so mad at it because I didn't spend a fortune on this and I ended up getting some really cool liquid lipsticks out of the deal that I liked but yeah that's it for me let me know how you feel about these type of videos if you see something else um, comparable to this uh, like a dupe or a fake makeup product that you think that I would enjoy reviewing for me know below include the link and I will be sure to cop that and bring that to you here in a future video thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye guys not bad though. I I can't lie. Not so bad. <laughs> Later's